One, two, three. Aviva, na na na, yum yum yum. Every kiss begins with a, oh baby, oh oh, marry me. Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Alicia. If you're new and if you're returning, thank you so much. In today's video, we will be making a homemade soup. I have made this one soup many times and I usually just do it on the stove. But today, I think your girl is going to make it in the crock pot. And I'm kind of excited to see how that's going to turn out. Depending on how long it takes, I may not eat it until tomorrow. If that is what happens, I'm just going to go ahead and maybe make some like chicken, rice, and like a veggie tonight. But I'm super excited. And it's so funny, like the city that I'm in, we're literally getting notifications to turn off all power that you don't need. Like it's super, super hot out. Yesterday was like 115, 116. I think today like 113 114 and i'm making soup but it just sounds so good and honestly you guys if i had to come clean completely it's really because your girl's stomach i'm just having like one of those flares where i'm just like a little bit more sensitive i also just recently had an appointment it was kind of an eye-opener that i really do need to be conscientious and mindful of what i am putting in my body so yeah we're just gonna go ahead and take it easy i think the broth will do me good but yeah that's what we have planned for today you guys just go ahead and jump in the car with me it's gonna be hot it's gonna be so hot honestly let's just go let's just get into it i have a feeling that walmart is going to be packed as hell per usual so let's just go ahead and get started i am literally so hungry we just got to walmart and i'm just trying to get in get out get what i need to do and then go home and cook what i need to cook because your girl like i said is starving let's go I totally forgot at home to check uh, to see what beans I already had in the pantry. So now I'm just hoping that what I'm about to buy, I don't already have. I don't think I've ever used this in my soup, but honestly, <laughs> I'm down. Okay, like side note though, this looks fire. So I usually add lentil beans and uh, these white kidney beans the red kidney beans and I feel like one other bean. Okay, so I got the beans, I got my broth, I also got my chicken, and now I just have to get veggies. The veggies is what I'm most worried about because my stomach right now is so sensitive. Like I love me a good onion. But onions is the ones that will do it. Ugh. Ooh, I meant to go get green beans. All right, let's go back. Okay, so there's this one dish that I wanna make. My mom used to make it for us when we were kids. She would put chicken in a crock pot and she would drench Italian dressing all over it. But like, would that be a bad idea with my stomach? Let me know. Okay, so normally I do cilantro, green onion, carrots, That might be it. Celery was another one. Yep. Okay guys, so I'm pretty much done. I'm just waiting now. Um, I forgot I had to get some ginger root. So I'm waiting in the pharmacy section for a representative to come help me so I can get that. I found it finally, it took forever. I did, thank you. Okay guys, so we just made it back into the car. Ah, that was fast, that was fast, and everything worked out how I wanted it to. Now I'm about to head back to the house and start cooking. I'm about to wash my hands. You better wash your hands too. Look at my new soap. And then we will start chopping everything up and prepping for our soup. So, okay, we have our crock pot. You see the crock pot? We got the crock pot. We're ready to go. We're ready to go. She has been through many, 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 many moons. And I think she can come out for one more. So just to jump right into it, you guys, I did go ahead and pick up chicken broth as well as chicken. Okay, I did not mean to pick up two chickens. I thought one of them was a fish. I'm crying okay well whatever usually I do go ahead and pick up a vegetable broth as well get her all soft up 
I'm kind of just winging it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie with this, um, with the crock pot. <coughs> oh, she bought it. Right, I'm about to go ahead and dispose of these and we'll be right back. I did go ahead and get lentils. I got light red kidney beans. I got French style green beans, another French style green beans, and white beans. Now that we have all of our cans that we will be using, I typically just drain them, rinse them, put them in a strainer, do the same thing with all these cans, and then I go ahead and gently drop them in my broth. So I think the first time I purposely, willingly ate lentils was the very first time I made this soup. And actually like, especially once they sit long enough, they taste so good. They literally, and they're so tiny, they just melt right in your mouth. And I love that for me. They're just so tiny, you know? So good. So good. So good. So I did go ahead and get all the beans out of their cans and now I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse them. Hopefully I could do it with one hand. I don't wanna splash it everywhere. There we go. Hey guys, so I did wanna kinda just jump in here really quick and explain um, why my soup is coming off very bland. I'm gonna just say it and I'm gonna just say it. Yeah, very bland. I have a very light hand usually, but when it comes to making this specific soup, I'm usually making it around the time that my stomach is having a flare up. So typically I will use an extra light hand, if no hand at all. And I just kind of go really, really gentle. Um, I may do like a little bit of salt and pepper and sometimes I'll ask my mom if she can kind of like jazz it up just a bit. But for the most part, I do just go ahead and keep it as simple as possible. Cause like I said, my stomach, can go through its very sensitive spurts and right now we're kind of dealing with one of them like for instance um like i i think i mentioned in one of my videos i just recently had a procedure and i know for like the first two days it'll probably be sore but my throat is really sore right now but it's also doing this thing where after i eat i almost feel like a piece of food like lodged lodged in my throat area like right here and then it will like shift to right here and it will go right back to the side of my neck. So that's why I'm also going to go ahead and just do the broth method with some veggies and potato and chicken and just kind of like soft foods, you know? But yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and explain that. If you guys are over here like, what the hell is this girl doing in this kitchen? I am purposely going very light handed, okay? Okay. <laughs> and just kind of like ready to cook itself. So I'm gonna just be patient and sit back. In the meantime, I did wanna show you three things that I picked up today. One of them I've been seeing on YouTube for a minute now, Olipop. I don't really know what the hype's about, but I'm gonna go ahead and try it. It supports digestive health. This flavor is classic grape, but it is a sparkling tonic. I was kind of trying to stay away from bubbles, but I am gonna go ahead and try it. There are prebiotics in here and plant fiber. And like I said, this uh, flavor is classic grape. It's non-GMO. And I think it's just super cool that it supports digestive health. With that, my doctor actually recommended that I pick up some ginger. So I went ahead and picked up some ginger root today. And this also supports digestive health as well. I haven't tried it yet, but I will go ahead and leave periodic updates on how that's going. <laughs> and last but not least, I'm checking out and I see this plant-based super coffee and i think i'm gonna try it tomorrow and the flavor is caramel waffles just like this but yeah you guys that is it for right now i'm honestly like ready to take this effing hat off um i'm ready to chill i'm ready to take a shower and just kind of relax so i'm uh peace every kiss begins with a oh baby oh marry me